I would like to make one thing very clear at the outset. The European Commission is looking forward to welcoming Croatia as the 28th European Union member state as soon as possible. We should now use our energy and focus on the remaining issues to be solved. Croatia needs to continue its efforts and focus specially on judicial reform, fundamental rights and the fight against corruption. Bosnia and Herzegovina was able to agree on all the measures needed to meet the more than 150 benchmarks requested by the European Union. I want to use this opportunity to call on all political parties to show this same determination and reach an agreement on the formation of a state-level government. Montenegro is at a decisive stage. Its candidate status to the European Union is a fair recognition of its achievements. We need to see concrete results in this crucial field, crucial field from uh, fighting organized crime and corruption to strengthening the judicial independence. This is also key, as you know, for the business environment and also to attract important investment for Montenegro. The country has to maintain the momentum of its own reform agenda. Otherwise, there will be a growing risk that the country could fall behind in the accession process. It is also essential that the name issue is solved as soon as possible.
We believe your country should proceed in negotiations with the European Union. We have made that proposal. But for this, we need this issue of the name to be solved, and I hope it will be solved sooner rather than later.